Today we're going to talk about how to treat shin splints. We've all dealt with shin splints, whether we're ultra marathon runners or we're just on our feet all day at the office. It's a pesky injury that once it starts, it's really hard to get rid of. What shin splints actually are is inflammation of the muscles on the front of our shin bones, also known as our tibias, where the muscles kind of insert into the tendinous junction between our muscle and our, and our bone. What we want to do, a lot of people think stretching, foam rolling, icing helps treat shin, shin splints and it does it makes it feel better in the moment but really shin splints are a product of weakness through something in our lower leg so what I always like to tell people is let's mobilize that tissue of course let's then stretch it but then we definitely have to strengthen it so some of the things I like to do is just taking a simple lacrosse ball rolling out my calf like so whether you're on a table or on the floor you can also roll out your foot because everything is connected from the front of our shin to the back of our shin which is our calf in our foot so you could take a lacrosse ball a tennis ball a golf ball or even a jar of peas and just roll out your foot on the ground the more pressure you can get on there the better then for the front of our shin some people like to stretch it if you have what's called a tiger tail or a kind of a massage stick you can really roll out the front of your shin or you can just use a little bit of lotion in your fingers and just try to mobilize that tissue after that some simple things like ankle mobility of making ankle circles with using your opposite hand or if you're kind of on the floor trying to drive your knee over your toes to get a little bit of a calf stretch. Once that tissue is mobilized, then you really, 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 to prevent shin splints from getting worse and from happening in the future, we gotta strengthen. So things like walking on your toes like this on the ground, walking on your heels and trying to use these muscles in the front of our shin to elevate the forefoot or the front of our foot off the ground is gonna build this musculature and then trying to walk on our heels. If you have some resistance bands, tying a resistance band to a post, either a bed post or a chair or having somebody else at home hold that resistance band for you, you could kind of take that resistance band, have it pull your foot away from you. You can work on the front of your shin by pulling that foot up towards you. You can pull the resistance band here and push your foot down like a gas pedal. Those are similar to calf raises. Pulling that band out to the side and going out kind of builds these lateral shin muscles and in builds our inner shin muscles. Again, strengthening all the muscles of our lower leg are gonna be the last piece of the puzzle that really, really helps treat those shin splints. Again, stretching is great, mobilizing tissue is great, and even icing is great, but we gotta strengthen that lower leg. And of course, you know me, don't forget about the glutes, the hips, the quads, the hamstrings, all those muscles, it's a chain reaction, are super, super, super important for building up and preventing shin splints.